Okay, Bill Zicker of Ublek Limited um, got in touch with me the other day by email and asked if I wanted a free sample of Uzak. So, uh, very kind indeed, it's arrived today. There's the address if you want to order some, uh, Ublek Limited, Bel Air, Maryland, I think, MD. I'm in Oklahoma in case anybody's uh, still wondering with the English accent. Anyway, I'll do an unboxing now and uh, see what we've got here. I haven't got all the bells and whistles going on like Julian Hill or people like that, but uh, anyway, if I can get inside the box, there we go. Alright, so what have we got then? Oh my, lots of packages. So, yeah, should be dry to the touch. Shelf life is one year in original unopened package. Clean up with plain water. Contains cornstarch, water, salt, borax and canola oil. 46 grams, 27 grams, 42 grams, wow loads, <laughs> thanks very much Bill, 46 grams, I can make loads of mistakes, I mean uh, capacitors, 36 grams, so, one, two, three, four, five packets of the Uzak, alright, now, on to the testing. Okay, just to show the setup here, what I've got is a meter here for voltage and microamps or milliamps. I've got this plane here, which is a Hawker Hotspur, and it's got an 8mm motor in it, and I think it's a 5 inch propeller. Uh, so that'll be hopefully able to show um, if the Uzek can run that motor. And over here, I've had this cell of my own with a 9 volt battery on the top to create a bit of pressure and keep the leads on. That's been flashing for about, I don't know, the past week and uh, it seems to be a scorbic, I've not got it covered in anything I've built plenty of cells, they're all over here um, but this one's got no covering on it and seems to uh, take the moisture from the air and carry on going because um, it's a very very thin layer of the material that I've used but it's been running for about a week so it's very very interesting to see this Uzek stuff and see what kind of comparisons there are uh, I've also got, here is the Uzek itself uh, apologies for the dirty hands, I've been building things this morning. You can see it's very squashy and uh, more like a kind of a blue tack really and it will spread out quite well and stick to things. And that's that stuff. I've also got the little oscillator here that I'll try some of this Uzek with in a couple of experiments. So that kind of paints the picture about what I'll be doing for the rest of the video. Alright, first thing I'll do is a bit of replication of something that Bill posted to Instagram, I think, yesterday. Um, copper penny, a bit of silver foil, aluminium foil, and a piece straight out of the packet. So, let's put a small amount on. Put a piece of foil on top. And we'll see what it's got on it. So, voltage. Uh, 300 and well, about 360 millivolts. And let's have a look at the current. We've got microamps. That's pretty high, isn't it? That's about half a milliamp. Yeah, that's straight out of the packet. Right, so the next thing to do is to charge it up. And I was looking around for an AA holder and such, and I thought, no, I might as well use a lipo. Uh, hopefully, it won't go up in flames or anything if it works as a short circuit. But what I'll do is I'll charge this up for a few seconds. All right, three, four, five. And we'll see if anything's changed. See if I was taking a charge. Yes, 1.4 volts. That is pretty healthy. It's coming down, of course, with the well, the load of the meter and uh, presumably post charge. But that's pretty good, isn't it? Um, right. So now it should run this oscillator. I'll have a look. Yes, there we go. It's running the oscillator fine. 
so it can hold that charge in it's not just a surface or anything like that it's been running this now a few seconds and uh, I'm very pleased indeed with that which begs the question now if it can run the propeller and presumably I'll have to throw 12 volts in or something like that but that's only based on my usual cells but as you can see that's running that perfectly fine Right, I'm setting myself up for a fail here, aren't I? But what I'm going to do is I've got two pieces of aluminium now. Now there's about 10.5 volts on that battery pack. It's normally solar recharged, but it's a rainy day today, so this is well doing this anyway. If you've got about 10.5 volts on it, it's a 12 that I want it to be. Get some uh, fresh Uzek out of the packet, straight out of the packet. Put it on. Other piece on top. So this is just straight aluminium foil. I've actually had to use the bigger pieces to, to connect up. I tried with the smaller one and it didn't work. Um, I couldn't actually get the connection on without shorting it. So let's see if it fizzes. Not fizzing yet. Oh yes, yes it's fizzing away. It might heat up if it's anywhere similar to my mixtures. Give it a few seconds here. Yeah, it's getting hot. Of course, it's not what you're supposed to do with this stuff. <laughs> Right, so anyway, a few seconds there. And now, let's see, will it run the motor? Yes, there we go. So that's an 8mm coilless motor, 5 inch propeller, and it's spinning it. Well, it's only lasted a few seconds, but uh, it certainly shows that straight out of the packet, this stuff will run a decent sized motion propeller. Very impressed indeed. Uh, yeah, if uh, you get in touch with uh, Ublack, so it's uzek at ublack.com, and try this stuff out. Very easy to try out. You just see me take it straight out of the packet and charge it. Okay, thanks for watching, and thanks very much, Bill, for sending it.